What up, Fantastics? My name is Alex and I make authentic, fun and useful videos about Finland. So if you're first time watching this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button because you will join our Fantastic squad and get more awesome Finnish videos, Finnish videos in the future. So welcome to today's subscriber, Fantastic, Fantastic subscriber hangout. I hope you had a great week and then we can wrap up this week with awesome live stream together. So my name is Alex, your host today, and I'm here to help you with all Finland related questions and give you Finnish tips related to Finnish culture and people. And we have some people already. We have God kill me, please. We have Jesse, we have Carrie. Welcome back, guys. And if you're watching uh, the live live video, hit in the chat. Let me know in the chat, where are you watching this uh, video because it's always cool to know where which part of the world fantastics are gathering to this live stream or if you're watching the replay you can also leave it in the comments below so that would be great all right so today's this week has been quite hectic and today's also quite hectic i've i've finished up another street interview video and also hang, hung out with some of my friends and Today we will end up with this live stream. We have people from Nuremberg, Germany. We have uh, Katela Lopela, okay, Virginia. Okay, we have people, we have Finns, we have Germans, we have Americans. That's awesome. And make sure you also hit the thumbs up button because it will make my day even better. Good stuff. Singapore, England, wow, all over the world. That's great. And this is actually quite interesting because when I started to make these videos, I had no idea like how many people around the world are interested in Finland and Finnish stuff. So it's been a really positive surprise, like how many people from different parts of the world are interested in our small country here in up in the north, northern part of Europe. All right. Uh, Unkarista, Indonesia. Wow, so many people. And Joe the programmer, Joe is one of our patrons. Welcome Joe as well. All right, so I think we will keep this kind of like interactive stuff and uh, kind of look to kind of do this like ask me anything style. So if you have any questions, uh, problems related to Finland, Finnish people, Finnish culture, if you want to ask me some opinions about something, well, I'm here to help you out with those. So make sure to just hit the questions coming in the chat box and we will go there one by one. If there's many comments coming up at once, so I'll just try to go them as they go. And remember, you can always use the super chat function so we'll get your uh, message in a bright color and that will make sure that I will check it out at, uh, in any case. All right, so let's see we have, because I'm, I'm actually doing this on my phone again. So. I'm, if you see like my finger on the screen, so that is because I'm, I'm scrolling the the comment section and seeing that everything's running smoothly. All right, so I'll let you know what kind of videos I've been filming for next week. Uh, next uh, next videos will be pretty cool. Uh, one of our patrons requested a video about how or, or how to, <laughs> requested a video from me on how to make Finnish friends or friends in Finland. And I, and I think that's a great topic. And I filmed the video, I was just editing into a little, a little bit uh, before this live stream. And I've also gathered some uh, experiences from foreigners or internationals who are living in Finland and how they figured out how they made their Finnish friends. So I think we can deliver some good value. And today I also, we finished uh, a street interview video, what, what do Finnish people think about Sweden and Swedish people? Because we have always had a really interesting kind of uh, history with Sweden. And so, and we've always had kind of this, you know, kind of rival love-hate relationship with Sweden. Because, you know, it's our neighboring country. And I think this, this phenomenon is also in other parts of the world. And we got some really interesting answers. There's some a little bit younger people and older people share their topics, so we will see them. Okay, let's see if you have any questions. What do you think about Singapore, Alexi? Um, well, I haven't been to Singapore, but I what I've realized lately, because I follow this YouTube channel, Asian Boss, and that's actually a great channel. That's one of the channels where I've got inspiration to do, for example, my street interview videos. And there's some pretty strict laws, like for example, chewing gum is somehow illegal, which is kind of weird, I think, because especially I like to do chewing gum and eat chewing gum. And But I, I think it's a nice place. I haven't been there myself, so I guess I have to check it out. 
Okay, God kill me, please. What is your favorite city in Finland? Not for tourists, I mean your personal favorite. Well, actually, this is this is something that I should kind of de develop myself because I haven't actually traveled that much in uh, inside Finland. But if I have to say one, one favorite city, I think Tampere is so great. I live in Tampere at the moment because Tampere is kind of, it's big, there's a lot of going on, there's places to see, but it's not too big and it's not so expensive. Like if you compare Tampere to Helsinki, Helsinki is damn expensive. Of course, the salary is also a little bit better, but you know, and Helsinki is like a big metropole. It's like a, it, it re resembles a lot out of other of other European big cities and Helsinki is also top of that but Tampere is a little bit more Finnish in my opinion so I think Tampere is definitely a great place because I don't want to go I don't want to for example live in a like a you know like a small place where there's nothing going on because I, I, I think it's just boring so I think Tampere is pretty good good question uh, what do you think about get a job without knowing the language ah, okay that's that's also like the the Eternal problem. Uh, well, I'm, I hope I can make a video about this at some point. I'm planning to ask some people, some uh, internationals who live in Finland and have gone through this process and to get some insights from them because, you know, as a Finn, I don't can I can't share that much like useful information because <laughs> the things are completely different for a Finnish person comp uh, than compared to a international. But if I can just get some general stuff, it highly depends on your field. Like if, let's say if you are, if you are an IT specialist, like software engineer or web developer or anything like coding or ICT, ICT related, I think you have better chances to find a job without finish. For example, um, uh, my good friend who actually I started to do YouTube videos uh, five years ago, he doesn't speak Finnish. Well, he actually did a degree, a degree here in Finland. So that kind of, I guess it also uh, it, it, it gives affects a little bit. Affects a little bit. That's what I want to say. But uh, there is, for example, some companies. For example, there is this Finnish company called Kone, like a really multicultural Finnish company, and their working language is English, and they actually have a program like a trainee level program that is only for foreigners. So there definitely are some companies, Finnish companies in Finland that emphasize or who are looking for foreigners. But I, I have to agree that there's only, they're mostly, most of them are in ICT field. So if you are not in ICT field, I, I, unfortunately your chances are lower. So, the best thing if you are well there's two okay I'm, I'm if i'm being like really kind of up like abstract there's two things one just start learning finnish and get good at finnish or two just uh, educate yourself in ict field and i i know it's not an easy thing i think it's really easy for me to say but well for example like coding and stuff is something that can be learned by yourself you don't really need a degree to get good at like web developing, that's more like a kind of creative job, in my in my opinion. Well, but there, yeah, it depends. It's either like I'm always telling about this ICT stuff, but the, the, the reason is that I think it's true. But I'll try to make a video at some point where I can get some insights from foreigners who have gone through this, so we can get more information. But that is, that is always a good question. What can you do in Tampere? We took a ride. A small train in the city and we'll be in the mall, but what else can you do there? There's a lot of things to do. There's, for example, the only Moomin Museum in Finland. I'm actually, I want to do a video about this as well, but I haven't just managed to do it yet. Uh, there is uh, a really cool spy museum. You can see like some really cool spy equipment and history behind it, also in English. Uh, there is Puniki Tower with the really delicious monkey uh, Swedish. Uh, what did you call this in English? Bun rolls. Um, there's Kauppahalli, really traditional old-fashioned marketplace. I've done a live stream from there before. Uh, let's see what else. What else? Uh, go one of the terraces. Have for example, there's one cool place, Jack, Jack, and the Rooster. They have like a really like a top level. You know, you can go to the roof and enjoy some food and drinks. 
go to public saunas. There's plenty of awesome public saunas in Tampere. That, there's a few, there's a few, but that's, I, I hope I can make a video about that sooner or later. I've got a finished job without knowing Finnish software engineer. Okay, well, Joe, yeah, I know Joe is going to Oulu if I'm completely, if I'm not completely mistaken, but as you can see, software engineering, like Finnish people, like fin in Finland, the ICT field is booming quite a lot and there's always companies looking for coders and web developers and stuff. So I think they have to eventually start looking outside of Finland because there's not any, enough Finns who can do that stuff. So. Maybe that might be your chance. My student application haven't been replied by a very vocational school for culinary since the three past months. Do vocational schools fill and accept certain amount of interest student or not? Well, I cannot really say. It depends strongly. There should be information on the school's website. I cannot give any general opinion on that. Oh, Slindy. Hi, Alexander Rest. Slindy is a cool Finnish dude who I met actually in my previous university and he also knows he has some good knowledge on Finnish stuff. Uh, how you mentioned about the uh, military service goes back until you are 60. What does that mean? Do you have to go back for training exercise after mandatory service over? That is a great question and actually there's a number of things I would have wanted to include in the video but because it would have become like too long. So I ha actually had to scrap something out, but maybe I can do like a follow-up video because there's a few things, but that, that is a great question. So I, I said in the video that the, um, uh, I don't know what's the word in English, but we have this as available issues. And this basically means that you are kind of obligated to protect Finland in case something happens. And this is between 18 to 60 years old. And just like Daniel mentioned, we actually have some kind of rehearsal and retraining sessions, but those are sent like quite randomly. For example, today's actually exactly seven years since I got out of the army. That's actually quite a coincidence, but I haven't got a single retraining like uh, invitations. And those are also legal things and you can actually well you can still skip them if you have like a really good reason like if like let's say you're have a work trip abroad or something but basically you have to go and all another thing is that if if there is a crisis if there were if there would be a crisis all the people between 18 and 60 years are obligated to defend to uh, defend finland so that is exactly what it says. But for example, some of my friends have got this retraining session stuff, but I haven't still got. So that's kind of interesting, but it's just really random. You can't really control it anyway, but that's a good one. Good. What is your favorite movement character? Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, movement character. There's a quite a few. Let's see. Um, okay, let's, let's say... I'll just, I don't even know the Finnish names. God damn it. Uh, the Moomipek, the Moomin Troll. Let's just give that one for now. Yes, Daniel Pusso, we have to go to refreshing course every now and I've had two since 2000. Okay, thanks Lindy for letting us know some extra information. This is what I've said, like some people have to go more and some people have to go less, but that also good also the, another good thing about those retrainings is that you also get promoted. Once you do enough uh, these retrainings, you can actually get promotions uh, through those. Mm, your opinions on Finnish nerd culture. Okay, I, I think I skipped one question. Is there a different types of schools in Finland? If so, what are they? Oh yeah, there's a plenty of different types of schools, but I need to I, I need a little bit more information. For example, which level are you talking about? Elementary schools or universities and or vocational schools? I have actually done a few videos about the educational system of Finland. There's actually a playlist uh, on my on my YouTube channel, but I, I guess I would I would like to get a little bit more emphasis. Like, what do you mean exactly? Finnish, on Finnish nerd culture, oh, there's definitely a lot of nerds, like, especially at my technical university, there was quite a few. Well, I can't really say by myself, because I don't really consider myself a nerd, but I like video games, and I like things like Pokemon and Dragon Ball Z and stuff, but, well, you know, I guess we should also define what is a nerd first, but uh, I have no against them, you know, so I, I can't really, I can't really say, because I'm not kind of in, into the culture, so. 
that's the thing. Obligate if you don't get C graded papers, right? Hey, Alexa, how are you? I'm good. I'm having a fantastic subscriber hangout with you guys. So welcome to the Maton Sotilas also. Mulla on kutsunut ensi vuonna. Okay. So Mikael is saying that he has the drafting next year. And actually my cousin is leaving to the army tomorrow, which is quite interesting. And I'm, I hope I can visit him. He's, he's serving here close to Tampere in Pirkkala. So I will go there. How many people use Linux whom you personally know? Uh, I don't know, not many, but there, there are some Linux people that, because some people definitely know what are the benefits of Linux. But I can't really, I can't say many, not the people who I know. But we used to have a Linux computer when I was living at home at some point, but not many. But the interesting question, please keep it. True Alex, I just got promoted to a corporal this summer. Okay, congrats, Sami. So Sami got corporal. Corporal in English, I think it's private first class. So the the military ranks are kind of weird if you try to go to English. Kiitos vastausta. I would be great to see a follow-up video on the military service. Yeah, because there's actually quite a few things I wanted to tell in the video, but I didn't really... Just there was just so much stuff there, but we can, I could make like a, let's say ten facts about the Finnish army. We can follow. Stoche Morias, you like Dragon Ball too, man? Yeah, that's the best anime. I was watching Dragon Ball Super completely when it was running. Being an anime manga nerd in Finland would be a cool with. Uh, well, there definitely I can tell you there's for example a lot of cosplayers and anime. There's even a manga club at my university so it is definitely present here been thinking of doing one myself okay that sounds great uh is bully a popular thing at schools in finland so okay what i'm reading here is that is bullying a common thing at schools in finland and unfortunately i have to say it is somewhat common and for example when i was at school i was bullied quite a lot because well, I don't know what what are the reasons. I think one of the reasons is that some parents do, just don't bring some of their kids up well, and maybe it's well, that's one of all kind of like a sins, deep sins of things that we are kind of jealous and envious people. And for example, one of the reasons why I was bullied is because I was getting good grades. Well, there's but there probably are some other reasons as well. But unfortunately, that is. That is there. I don't know what, but for example, that was in elementary school. When I went to upper secondary school, it was gone. Like when I was around 60. So it, it, it does happen on the first levels, definitely. But I don't know how much nowadays. I think I've watched, look at some articles. I try to read the news and follow the topic. And I think I've read some articles that it's been decreasing a little bit. But I think it's going to still be a problem. But that's a great question. That's great. Thanks, Jesse. Yes, I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Do you the freedom not to go to the army if you have personal objections to guns and joining the army? Yes, if you watch the video, the army video, at the end of the video, I explained that there's an alternative way. Uh, you can do the civil service. All the details are in the video, so you can go watch it. Um, but there is also, you can also do the military service without guns i think there is also a way so because the the benefit of the army is that's only six months but if you don't want to go to the army you have to go to the civil service and that's one year that's always 12 months so you can actually get you know things go get things done a little bit easier if you can go to the army that's a great question there is uh you can do the army without guns i'm i think it still exists or you can do the civil service for example one of my good friends has done the civil service and there's a quite a few ones wonder elaini moikka no moi moi tervetuloa i know old car manga italia d okay moi en ollut sun kanalla kuukausi no tervetuloa pitkästä aikaa bilal parker moi i hope you've got cleared out from your last parties Okay, you mean hentai? I know those guys as track on organized. Yeah, there is <laughs> actually that's the thing because the anime club in my university is called hentai, but it's not like a dirty porn style of club, not at all. 
But they just some for some reason they just picked up that name. That's fine. By the way, if you just join tune in, my name is Alex, and I make authentic, authentic, fun, and useful videos about Finland. Make sure hit the thumbs up button if you haven't, and subscribe if you are a first timer. That would be great because you will get more awesome stuff in the future. I think Kakashi Hatake from Konoha from Naruto. I'm cosplay him. Okay, sounds great. Have you ever seen short guys in fun? Yeah, there's. There are short, short, short guys. Of course, we have to, we have to define again what is short for you. Uh, but of course, for example, I'm really, I'm way, way taller than the average Finnish guy. But there's, of course, way, way shorter than the average guys as well. And yeah, I, I have seen short guys definitely. Not sure if you saw this comment. So I made a Facebook group for people who are interested in Finnish culture and etc. And I was mostly inspired by your work. Hope you're okay with it. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, completely. I, I didn't know about that, but that's great. That's That should help out a lot of people. I was also bullied in school, especially first level in Finnish school, mainly because I was the quiet girl and never was too much into following the trends. Now that I've should barked a little bit more. And that's that's the reason. Okay. Because in the school, if you are not part of the people, if you don't do like the other people are doing, you're standing out. So that is one of the triggers probably, unfortunately. And for example, one of the triggers, what was in my case, that I was getting good grades, better grades than the other people. And yeah, it's, it's just kind of bullshit, but we will have to just cope with it. Sulla on putut tilaa ja olin kai joskus sata tuonan tuolla ja on eteen homma kivasti. I was, uh, it was full name hentai hervanan teekkarin animaatio iltamat. Ah, uh, okay. So it's it's like the abbreviation, like each letter has a, like a Finnish word. That's how it comes. Okay, that's great. Hey Alex, can, if I see you in Helsinki, can I take a picture with you selfie? Yeah, sure, of course. And uh, by the way, I can actually make a quick announcement. I will be in the Tubecon event in Helsinki next week, uh, next month. So if you don't know, Tubecon is kind of like the VidCon in America. It's like a, this video for online video creators. So I will be there and I'm also, I'm actually going to give a workshop there. I'm going to teach Finnish content creators how to make better thumbnails. <laughs> well, I'm not, I'm not sure if my thumbnails are that good, but I'm trying to improve it. And I think this is a great way how, how I can also improve my stuff by you know, signing up for to teach up this uh, uh, workshop. Yeah, but definitely, if you see me around, just come to talk to me. It's, also, it's always cool to cool to talk to new people. And sure, no problem. I saw your interview with some gals in street interview video. You are a gigantopitius. What is your height? Height again? I think so. My height is one meter ninety four centimeters, and in oh crap. Okay, my was I just got a call. Uh, so I'm one ninety four, and that's in inches. It's six four. So I, I'm actually quite tall. What do Finns find cheap in Estonia? Mostly both things. So is that why Finns? That the number one thing why Finns go to Estonia is booze, <laughs> alcohol. That's that is why Finnish people go because. You know, alcohol in Finland is taxed so heavily, so that it's much, it's just cheaper to go to Estonia and go to the Super Alako and just buy the stuff there. But I heard that they also raise the tax in Estonia, so I'm not sure if it's still as cheap as it used to be. But that is why that is definitely the number one thing why <laughs> why Finns go there. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, you can meet other YouTubers in Tubacon. Yes, I was there also last year. Is there any display of skill that you would like to see more in Finland? Uh, what, what do you mean by display of skill? In this case, can you elaborate a little bit? Damian, hey, do Finnish people like classical music? Also, have you seen the Tampere Philharmonia in concert? I definitely, yeah, there's definitely people who lo love that kind kind of music like Finland is not so kind of strange or like different 
in terms of people. Of course, there's people like even our country has people who have certain interests. Like I don't know how many people there are, but there definitely are people. I think, for example, you can go to a Facebook and find a Facebook group for that type of people. And I haven't seen the the concert. Like I'm not that much into classical music myself. I have gonna have to give that, but maybe I should go check it out sometimes. Best beer make only Japan. Okay. Okay, we have questions. Rasmus A. Ah, hello, Alex. Nice to see you. You too. Did you get a master's degree? I heard that bachelor masters are often joined in Finland and getting admission to masters is super hard. Uh, yes. So in Finland, when you apply to a university, you always apply for both master, uh, so for bachelor and master of the same program. For example, when I applied here, I applied both masters and bachelor. Of bachelor and Masters of Information and Knowledge Management. And it is not that hard. Like it depends where you're applying. For example, if you want to go to medic school, that's really hard to get in because there's so many people, it's so competitive. And for let's say, for example, industrial engineering and management at uh, technical universities, that is also really competitive. So that's why it's difficult to get in. But for example, let's say, um, for example, at my school, where I used to study, there are, there's 12 degree programs, Finnish degree programs, and all, I think like 10 international degree programs. So, but if you if you talk about the Finnish programs, there are definitely also some programs that are easily, that you can get inside easily. So it's not that hard. It depends where you're going, where you, where you want to get in. So and um, the the things all the thing is also that you don't find Finnish people who have only bachelor's degree because we always study until we get the masters, and I think that's a really great way to keep Finns competitive in the job market and also also internationally, because all the Finns always get a master's degree. No one leaves the school after bachelor's because we we can just keep keep still studying more for free. And that, that's also why it, it takes usually five to six years to get everything done. For example, I, I started at TUT when I was, uh, that was 2012, almost six years ago. And now I'm done. But that, but I, I did both bachelor's and master's in that six years. Great question. Can you make videos on pronunciation, how to pronounce and don't finish drop consonants if they come uh, when, uh, when adding sa. Let's see. And also don't finish drop consonants. Uh, actually, I'm planning to make, yeah, that's, I've been thinking about that. And I even thought about making like an online course about Finnish pronunciations, which would teach you everything you need to know and how to improve your Finnish pronunciation skills. Because luckily, luckily the Finnish pronunciation rules are really simple. And, but there's a few things that you, that you should keep in mind. And I think about, I'm thinking about making like a small online course, which would teach you all the basics in that. But yeah, that's on my list. I like all 80 years music, like Irving Goodman. Okay. Do Finns like rock and metal? Yes, Finland, you know, in Finland, Finland is the number one country in the world, which has the most, um, most metal bands per capita. So definitely we have crap load of metal bands and rock bands here. I would definitely say yes. I mean, showing off certain skills that Finns don't show off that much. We have the skill, we just don't market them that much. We have the skill. Uh, so you do mean, do you mean that is there something that we Finns know or can do, but we should market it more. Is that what you mean? I'm sorry, I'm a little bit dumb, dumbass again, but yeah. For psychology, I heard example, uh, the University of Helsinki, there are 50 places for bachelors plus masters, while only five for masters. But that's the thing, like if you, you can also apply to masters directly. Let's say, okay, let's say that you have already bachelor's degree or master's degree from something else. And then you want to study more. So you can actually apply directly to the masters in some 
some program. But if the master admission and master applications are a little bit different, but and yeah, it depends of again where and which program. And in you know, internet is your best bet here. We have more metal bands here and there any other country. Yeah. Okay, so your airline is Finnish, is that correct? Okay. So that helps me to to understand. Like the okay. So that I when people join these live streams, there's always people I recognize, but also some new people. So I try to keep track track and try to get to know you guys also and know where you come from and stuff. Best videos make only Alexi. Thank you. Kiitos Palio. Hey, can you make a vlog in different Finnish markets and show us what's in there? Different places to eat, various kinds of cuisine, etc. Um, yes, I would love to actually. Uh, for example, on my list is to make videos like how to do groceries in Finland. I once tried to do it, but I was filming with my, with my camera gear and the shop manager didn't kind of like it. So I think I'll try again. And I would also love to do, for example, good rest, like top 10 restaurants in Tampere. But I don't know like how I could do that because well, first of all, I need to get inside the restaurant. Then I would probably have to eat something there. I get the permission to do it. It's kind of like tricky, tricky thing. Uh, but for example, I've already done one video. It was actually a live stream video from Kauppahalli. So that could you could check that. But I'll try to do the the shopping or the grocery shopping video at some point. Great question. Yeah, nothing surprised. Northern countries have big amount of Moroccan metal fans. One of the things that I love about, right? Okay, Damiana, what do you think about the fact that you can learn Klingon and High Valyrian on the Duolingo, but not Finnish? I don't even know what what, what kind of languages are. So maybe you should become a developer. Yeah, maybe. The thing is that even if I'm a Finnish guy. I have no experience or no qualification to teach Finnish. Like, with what I can teach you is spoken Finnish, and that, that's the thing. Like, uh, people always say that I should become like a Finnish teacher, but the thing is that I'm not sure if that's what I really want to do because Finnish grammar is kind of kind of it's really crappy and really shitty and really complicated. Not not impossible, and I'm not really sure if I want to, you know, because if if I wanted to do like a teaching full time, then I would have to learn the grammar also myself of course i can speak finnish but you know it's it's because it's my native language but i definitely can teach you like some modern spoken finnish and i've like i've, I've also done the spoken fin free spoken finnish course and i'm also thinking about creating a second one at some point but yeah it's a good point finnish is unfortunately is such a minor language that it's not easily picked up by these language companies. Yeah. Yes, that's what I mean. Okay. What do Finns do well? Um, actually, there is one good video on the very Finnish problems site. Let's see. What what do what do we do well? What do do we do we what do we do well? Maybe I should do like a video, a separate video about this, like Finnish. Things that Finns are good at, but no one knows about it. Maybe I, I think I'll write it on my list. Uh, where's my notebook? Okay, I'll just write it here. Oh shit. Let's see. Let's just get some random paper. What is this? Uh, okay. Things Finns or Finland are good at. That's actually a great video idea. We can talk about more that in that video. Good, thanks for the idea. No finish is hard. I'm trying to learn it, and I'm see, I am seeding in this twenty degrees Celsius. Yeah, unfortunately, it is, it is hard, but it's not impossible. Uh, for example, if you remember the video from last year when I was I did, when I did the video with Raul, the Mexican guy, and he speaks pretty much fluent Finnish, and he told in that video that he he learned that in around a year, which is crazy. But that, that tells that it's, it's, it's possible. Us wedding, okay. What is your favorite kind of music? Okay, 
I'm pretty kind of like a mainstream guy. So, for example, what I like to listen to is just kind of like this basic things that you heard in the radio, like pop, rock and stuff. But I also, <laughs> one of the things what, which, without, what I always don't tell is that I also like to listen to video game soundtracks. And I know that this is actually one of my nerdy things. For example, if I'm on a date, first date with a girl, this is not probably what I would, I would tell because that would give like really nerdy image of myself, but who cares? And for example, when I'm, when I'm studying, I might put, let's say, for example, today when I was creating new videos, I put the Sonic Adventure 2 Battle original soundtrack because it has some pretty good songs. And the good thing about video game music is that it's usually instrumental. So according to some research, if you are listening to music while you're doing something else, if, the, if it has lyrics, it might distract you. But video game tracks usually are instrumental, so there's no vocals. But actually, that is some kind of music what I like to do, and that is just it. I'll just try to be as honest as I can. Do you remember me, Alexi? Uh, not, not so well. Maybe I need something to remember i said like i'm running quite slowly here again maybe if you give a quick reminder place likes to try to listen to some irving goodman Perosuyunte. i know irving goodman it's he's like a typical it's some good finnish music the field that i want to study is psychology and i'm already studying bachelor in estonia i had to learn estonian to see make this happen it seems i will have to learn finnish to make that happen as well the thing is i'm not sure if there are international psychology degree programs in Finland. If no, then there's no other way than going through the Finnish, Finnish route, unfortunately. By the way, have you thought about making Anki decks? Actually, I have. I have. Uh, but I haven't gone through... I haven't... It's on, on my list. And I could create some, let's say some spoken Finnish expression Anki decks, because that is something that I can definitely do, definitely do. Because let's say I have maybe 100 awesome spoken Finnish expressions. I can create a good example sentence. I can give the translation. I can also voice them by myself. So that is something I could do, definitely. That is a way that I could teach, teach you. Uh, let's see how that will develop. What is your favorite candy if the question was asked in already? Sorry, I had to take a baby to the bed. Uh, no, it wasn't. Uh, I think it's some heart of chocolate. Salamiakki chocolate is pretty good. And some other salamiakki. I like the candies which has both salamiakki and chocolate. Again, if you have just joined it, make sure to hit the thumbs up button because it will make my day even better and you will be more awesome. Nice. Uh, someone asked about the classical metal. Actually, Nightwish is one of the symphonic metal pioneers. That's true. Palakos Alexi vela Pokemon Go. Yes, I. I oh, do I still play Pokemon Go? Yes, I do play. I was playing also today because there was like this community day a little bit. I was playing with my friends, but I do play. I think we Finns do better when we drink and get drunk, eat makkara, shop alcohol. <laughs> yeah, that sounds true. Pepina, moi Alexi, good from good morning from California. Good to good to have you here, Pepina as well. California, hey dude, David Weiss, Donkey Kong. Oh, I re recognize that name and Grand Kirkhope for banjo games. Yeah, Rare, Rare is such a great company, by the way. I think David Weiss was also for Rare. Man, like you know, Sticker Brush Symphony. If anyone knows the game. Or uh, what else? What good soundtracks? Jungle Shapes, Aquatic Ambience. Okay, let's let's not get too dirty. Here. Tom Nash. Hey guys, welcome. Finns are good at killing Soviets. Ah, uh, okay. We we could make like if we if we think about this is a funny way, then we could say that. Yes, you may remember me, the software engineer thing. Mm, I still can't really remember. Sorry. Have you been? to the video games live concert. No, but actually that is some sort of concert I would love to go. I've, I've seen some clips on, on YouTube and, and, and I think there is some also in Finland. 
yeah, I love metal. Finnish metal bands are one one me make me want to go into uh, one. Uh, okay, metal bands are one got me interested in learning Finnish, but also in classical music. So playing dream, I love to move to Finland to play in orchestra. Oh, but that's a great way. That's that's a, that's actually a great way to make Finnish friends and get get inside the community by joining an orchestra. I think that should be great. Like how I told you before, I will be attending University of Oulu for my master's. For many days, the lectures are conducted on an average in Finland or any places you can, where I can visit. On. For many days, uh, so you're asking how many days there are lectures. Well, you know, it's Mondays to Fridays, the regular weekdays. But depending on your schedule, there might be some days when you don't have any lectures. But that all depends totally on your courses and curriculum hey alexi hello hello tom again do you watch the football championship uh yeah i have been watching and i think it's going to be interesting there's for example small countries like croatia is, and uh, and belgium are still in i would i would hope i'm rooting for a country like croatia because it's always great to see like an underdog like a small it's like a like a team or player who uh, who is who is believed not to win. That would be great. Nyt pitää mennä, no kaikkea hyvää sulle. Kiitos. Samoin sinne päin. Kiitos, että olet mukana. I love salmiakki too. I... Is salmiakki ice cream back at those stalls? Is it still mud cake? Did you know that we paid 120 euro per ice cream? 30... Oh, that's that's cheap. Like 120 for ice cream balls is cheap. Like the ice cream prices at the stalls for the balls are like crazy. It's like 3.5 euro for one ball. Uh, salmiakki ice cream, I think it's sold like every day, but you can't go to the, if you go to a like, grocery shop and go to the ice cream, you know, the the thingy, you can, you should be able to see it there. Okay, wow, there's so many good questions coming up today. Yep, sticker brush shampoo is one of my favorites. Okay, finally I found someone who is also this into this type of music as well. That's great. I will visit Finland next week. Your videos have been both entertaining and helpful. Kiitos, Quilly from Mexico. That's great, Jose. I hope I will. I hope you will have great time in Finland. How is your new job at the dance hall? Uh, no, that's not. That wasn't my job. If you are talking about the the Instagram post, I that's my hobby. That's my hobby, not my job. I'm still working at the university. So that's my hobby, but it's fun. It's a lot of fun because I was joining this once. I went to this dance place. And the funny thing is that you have to go to ask a girl or ask a guy. I have to go ask a random girl if they, if they want to dance, because that's how the thing, if you want to dance, you need to go ask a girl and go dancing. So I think it's a really encouraging way to go to talk to a new person. Test. Test is working. Been twice to VGL, quite awesome, and they tour around Europe uh, this year. Okay. Tietoma is worth a visit. Oh, Tietoma is in Oulu. That's great. Do you also like Tervatar, another acquired taste candy? Uh, that's also okay. Not maybe my favorite, but it still works. Uh, are Finns really shy, or the shyness is just a mechanism to filter friends for their personal benefits? I have made a video about this. If you go to my channel and there's a video, are Finns really shy? I will address that there. Do you smile like ever or is it only straight face and not laughing face, but no smile face? But, <laughs> well, I think you've seen, you've, you've seen me smiling and laughing also on my YouTube videos. So I, uh, I, I smile like every day and laugh. <laughs> also, when I'm just doing something myself and something funny happens. Uh, but yeah, I've actually been asked. <laughs> I've also got some comments that, um, let's say that we we are doing something, and if I some suddenly start to smile, the people around me, my friends, might be like, "What are you smiling at, or what are you la laughing at?" Because if there's no obvious reason why you are smiling or laughing, the Finns might get confused. I mean, it's it's really funny in my opinion. Like, like why why. Why do you need? Do you really need a like a like a valid reason to smile? 
Wow, Finns. Them Finns. Are Finns easy to be manipulated? Oh, I don't know. That's an interesting question. I would say no. I got in Laura and I'm moving to Finland. Give me do's and don'ts. Uh, regarding to what? That's a really kind of like do's and, do do's and don'ts in Finland in general. I have done plenty of videos, for example, things not to do in Finland and think annoying things in Finland. But I think I haven't done like things to do in Finland, like in general. Have you ever played Max Payne? I haven't played it. That's actually a Finnish game. I know the game does. Do you like Kosken Korva Uh Yeah, it's it's okay. I guess it's okay. That's booze. That's booze, by the way. Okay, we've got some really good questions. And it's always great to hang out and get to know you guys better because uh, I can't really do that this in general on, on my regular videos. Okay, we have still more. You can also visit Tori Police and Kauppahalle, which is next to it. Nice. You talk about maybe getting us at the Kalevala audiobook. Is it going to happen? Uh, yeah, I, I think it's it's going to work. But I just need to find... Uh, I need, just need to create the video. And I have two videos already uh, record, recorded. And now I just need to start scripting the Kalevala video. But I can make that happen, definitely. So it seems that you guys can uh, can uh, well, you you want to see that see that and get it, but it's 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 on 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 the way. I am starting my studies in Finland. I guess I'm going to get in trouble since I always smile and everyone's friend. And I don't think that's a problem. Like unless you're like excessively smiling like all the time. So yeah, uh, it's it's maybe I was a little bit exaggerating, but I don't think it's gonna be a problem. Do you like to swim in the lake or sea better? I don't think it, it doesn't matter. Like the seas in Finland are not salty at all, so or not like really not not so much. Like journal tips while studying in Finland. Uh, maybe that's a, another great video topic. Let's write that down. Uh, general tips while studying in Finland. Well, that's, that's a great video topic because many of, I know people from, for example, my Discord, there's Cindy from Germany, for example, who is coming to study this autumn in Tampere. So I, I guess this would be also a good idea, like, to give some general tips about, like, when you're coming to study Finland, like general tips when studying in Finland. That's a great one. Uh, are Finns misanthropy because all almost all Finns I met are quiet and cold-blooded. Uh, well, yeah, that is kind of like a general stereotype as Finns, but there are definitely some these awesome Finns, like talkative, open-minded Finns, like, okay, like me. Like, for example, if I'm going to some event and I see international people, it's always cool to go and talk to them. Like, I think even it's, I think it's even easier to go talk to foreigners than Finns. So you just need to keep looking, keep just ignore the dumb asses, the cold, like cold fins, and keep looking for the great ones because they definitely are great ones as well. Hey man, just moved to Tampere from France to be with my Finnish girlfriend. Your videos have been really helpful. Okay, welcome, Luke, to Tampere. I'm also here, living currently. I hope everything goes well with your moving and settling into Finland. I think the silence of Finns have something more to do with the respect than misanthropy. From what I understand, the behavior of, or belief as ancient roots. Yeah, I, I think it's it's not like the things why we are so cold and quiet and boring and socially awkward is not because that we are bad people. It's it is just because it's like a more like a social kind of like norm here. We are all we have been we are used to behave like this since back in the days because you know like finland is a small country finland is the most the most sparsely inhabited country in the european union and there's around 15 people maybe it's a little bit more but around 15 people living per square kilometer so that's really sparse so we've always used to grow we've we've used to live and grow up in a setting when there where there's not like crap load of people around you all the time. So I think that's 
that's the thing and you should also keep that in mind because that is how we are used to behave so remember that but that's a great point thanks Elani for giving some extra insights if everyone get higher education how Finland deals with having jobs opportunities for all these people uh yeah there are definitely unemployed people I don't how much is unemployment rate let me quickly google this uh suomi percent. let's see if i can find something oh okay so it's been 8.5 since the beginning of this year so actually it's it's less i thought it's more than 10 percent, but it's actually a little bit less uh yeah that's that's the thing but there are also people who don't go to university remember that there's for example some people who just get like a vocational degree or they go to up university of applied sciences and stuff so de definitely not all people go to university uh the difficult part for admission is that required to pass c1 for admission in estonia i was allowed to improve my language skills before i start my studies i see Vlast this music, moro moro, mitä mies, mitä mies. There are friendly fans like you and my grandpa. Yeah, there are friendly fans, but it's it's just that you kind of have to dig them out, dig them out, and find them. Uh, little something non-thematic. I have a great topic for your video today. I saw some picture of spoken Finnish, how Finns are calling cities indifferently. Uh, uh, yeah, we have some nicknames for Finnish cities, definitely. Like, for example, Tampere is the Manchester of Finland, and we call it Manse. Manse is like, like a shorter one. And for example, Lahti, the city of Lahti is the Chicago of of Finland and actually I don't know who came gave these names but I, I guess that's a great video topic let's for, let's put write it down uh, let's see spoken spoken Finnish wow my running success spoken Finnish <laughs> names for cities okay wow we have three awesome video topics just from this live stream that is great thanks for contributing to this this uh, channel that you guys are great they don't go to universities because the immigrants are taking over uh no no well you know we have we have Finnish programs and well there are maybe some Im second generation immigrants who have grown up here but no they're not taking that much of the quota hey Alex oh Maxim uh fuck I forgot my Russian okay because <laughs> I I know that you you also speak oh, you you're, you're Ukrainian but I think you can also understand Russian that's right hope you having a I plus weekend thanks oh, I hope you do have you found a job yet I'm planning to travel to Oulu next year there's a lot of people going to Oulu there's there's Joe and there was someone else and there's Maxim there's a lot of people going to Oulu so maybe we should do like a fantastic meetup in Oulu <laughs> too bad it's a little bit too far from Tampere uh, Oulu is a I think it's a decent place. It is a university city. There's there should be quite a few jobs there. Um, yeah, I've I have been to Oulu maybe once, and that was a long time ago. The thing is that I need to go to some other Finnish cities and you know spend time there and get to know the stuff because I haven't done that that much. Yeah. let's see let's see one more question have you ever been smoking okay so have i ever smoked answer is no i have never ever smoked in my life and i hope i will never will because that's not that's not something i that's i hate smoking like i don't see anything good at smoking like okay well i don't have i'm not offend i don't want to offend any smokers and I don't really have anything personal against smokers, but smoking is so, it's just stupid. Like you're just smoking your, like all your monies, your health, your clothes smell like shit. It's just, okay, let's let's not go to that rant, but no, the answer is no. How is University of Applied Science is different from university? Uh, that's a, yeah, that's a good thing. because It's quite kind of 
interesting institution. Like in Germany, there's also like Fachhochschule. So this is pretty much the same. So uh, from University of Applied Sciences, you will get um, you will get a bachelor's degree. But uh, the teaching, it's kind of, it's similar to university, but the stuff is a little bit more practical. Like universities are based on, for example, like research and science, but not, but it, uh, at the UAS or University of Applied Sciences, it's more practical. Good, that's a good question. Thanks for the question. It's not that the Finns are unfriendly, but rather a different way of expressing friendliness. It was the same when I came to Estonia. It took a while to get used to new ways of expressing. Okay, that's a great, great way, great insight. Um, and because I cannot really, this is not something that I can really explain well myself because I've I've grown up here and all everything what I see is, is so, so normal. So normal to me. So it's good that we get some extra insights. Kiitos Alexi, I just got my fantastic mug yesterday. I love it. Okay, great. So if you haven't got your fantastic merchandise, it's now available worldwide. For example, I'm wearing this V-neck fantastic shirt black. The links are in the description. You can go check it out. And as I said, worldwide delivery. How many cup of coffee do Finns drink a day on how much per cup? Uh, what brand types of coffee is to a problem? Finns drink Finnish coffee and Finns drink crap load of coffee. Like there's no way around it. Finland is the number one country in the world for coffee consumption per capita. And I think in 2016 or something, it was 13 kilograms per year per person. And that is just crazy. Like how much do, the, how many cups of coffee Finns drink? But the thing is that I don't drink coffee at all. <laughs> so I'm, I'm like a weird, weird Finnish dude because I, I like small talk. I like to talk to people. I don't drink coffee. So, but yeah, we drink a lot. I don't know how many cups a day, but you can count from there. One, one, one coffee package is usually one kilogram and that and one person consumes 13 of those per year. Wow, that's a lot. I'm addicted to vaping and internet says Finland heavily strikes to vaping and nicotine liquid. Uh, well, I I don't think it's that much stricter than comp, comp, when compared to the regular smoking. You can tell, I've, I, I've seen vapors quite, quite a few times. All I speak focus on the technology software sector. I think that we will speak destination first. Yeah, good stuff. Uh huh. Inside the knowledge, all right. Okay, I think we need to, how can we, is there a way, how can I mute someone? Damn it, I, I'm not sure if I can do, do this here. Okay, well, whatever. Wow, congratulations, you haven't had any secrets in your life, that's so great. What about weed? <laughs> Not weed as well, like, you know, well, of course, it's illegal here and it's not so common. It's not so common. Okay, Slindy says, uh, basically, the difference between university and applied is that science, at university, you learn to discover new theories and means and discoveries. At the University of Applied Science, you learn to use the theories and means and discoveries applying practice. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, you, it's a little bit more practical stuff at the University of Applied Sciences. Oh, I'm just, uh... oh, there's even some, some stuff here. All right. Uh... Oh, I think I scrolled too much. Okay, now. Lähden pari päivässä Suomeen. Mahtavaa. Good stuff, Tobias. I'm a weird fan because I barely drink alcohol at all. We maybe wine a few times a year. Oh, that's one thing. I also, I don't get wasted myself. Will I be hated in Finland because of my last name? I'm mostly Ukrainian, but one of my grandfathers was Russian. That's where I, uh, I, I don't, I don't think so. Why would people hate you because of your name? Like if you are a good person and have a good nature, you treat people well. I, I don't, I don't think Finns would just um, get pissed because of your name. Okay, let's take a few more questions. I'm from countryside near Spain border, under Bordeaux, been three months in Alsace too. They make good white wine and scenery is amazing. Okay, that's great. 
why does the degree from university has more worth than the degree from UAS? Because uh, the UAS degree is just a bachelor's degree and UA university degree is a master's degree. So, and also the, there's more credits. Master's degree has in total 300 credits and usually bachelor the UAS degrees are maybe 180 to 240 something. Okay, it's been great to chatting with you up. My time is up. Okay, that's good. Okay, I think we will we can also wrap. We just passed the one hour uh, screen and it is it's great that you guys are also so active and uh, contributing stuff to this these videos and this community. So I really I really appreciate all the good comments and the continuous support on our channel and we are we are full steam going full steam ahead and almost we're on the way to reaching that 10,000 subscribers 10,000 fantastics and I think we will reach it pretty soon while when we just keep up this good work and make sure you also hit the thumbs up button if you haven't and I think we will see you on the Wednesday's video and I think that's going to be also some good stuff so make sure you hit the Somewhere.